What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be taking a look at my second part of my Skyrim Mod House Showcase reboot. And if you haven't seen my previous house uh, showcase on this channel, at least you missed state. Highly recommend you go check it out. Basically, uh, I talked about briefly how I showcased three house, mo uh, house mods, one being Elysium Estate, of course, the other being Hala, which is this one, and the other and the third being White Run Cottage. Um, all on my old channel. This um, is what us Nords were always meant to do. Traverse the province and right wrongs with strength, steel, and resolve. Very aggressive, Lydia. Thank you. But yeah, so as I was saying, um, basically, uh, these these three house mods were all on my old channel. Um, but I figured, why not redo them and put them on this channel for you guys to enjoy as well. So... Obviously, this house is free. Well, if you didn't know, yes, this house is free, and you can pretty much get the, get it right at the start of the game. Um, and you're probably wondering, oh, cool, free house, free, uh, free house, uh, and everything is like, cool, I can set up shop here, I, I will have a crafting area and everything else. Well, it's not as simple as that. So basically, when you first come here, escape Helgen and everything, and obviously it's raining, so that's that's very lovely. Um, the door is locked. And hold on. Let me actually... Um, let's see here. Because I actually want it to be a beautiful day. But yeah, so as I was saying, as I'm waiting, okay, that's that's good, that's good, that's good. So yeah, so obviously the door is locked and everything, but you're probably wondering, Lorcan, well, where's the bloody key? Where's the key? Is it in the strong box over here? Well, no, that is also locked. Um, so you're probably wondering, well, Lorcan, where's the key then? Well, here's the catch. You're going to have to actually backtrack to Helgen in order to get the key. And I will show you guys where the key is. So give me two seconds and I will fast travel to Helgen and I'll see you guys there. <laughs> All right. So apparently some bandits were triggered. Let's go say hello, shall we? So now that that's out of the way, um, hold on, I'm using mouse and keyboard, so let me actually, there we go. So yeah, so obviously I'm at a point in the game where bandits ha can and will occupy um, um, Helgen. So obviously I haven't tested this, but I assume you will be able to get it right at, at, right when you escape Helgen or like sometime after like you talk to whomever you talk to in uh, Riverwood and, and then obviously discover the home and everything else. But if you're ever curious where the key is, it's right over here. So yeah, so all we need is the key. I'll take those septums. Thank you very much. Um... Yeah, so obviously there's bandits over there, but we're not going to deal with them. 
Um, so let me give me two seconds. Let me let us travel back to Hala, and we will do the showcase proper. Alrighty. Obviously, it's a beautiful, you know, night sky and everything. Lovely. So yeah, so um, obviously, once you get the key and everything, you can start opening up. Um, so, chanted gauntlets, I'm not going to pick them up just because. So yeah, so you have, you know, your grindstone, your workbench, your barrel, your moral materials, your bones, your remains, and every etc. 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 Your ingot, your uh, storage for your ingots, your anvil, and obviously a smelter and smithing area. Um, now, I assume that the beehive and the chicken, whatever this is, is comes with the mod because it wasn't there before I installed the mod, so I want to assume that it is comes with the mod and everything. Um, here is an outhouse, uh, to relieve yourself whenever you feel like it. Lovely. Um. Yeah, so, um. Without further ado, I think that's all that is there in outside. Let's go check inside. And obviously there's a chain rack over there, but... Yeah, so let's go inside. Now, two things I do want to note, um, uh, if you are installing this mod for the first time and everything. Oh, so see this poll right here? Um, Eleonora does say on her mods page that followers can and will get stuck on this little poll um, and everything. So just be aware of that. And another thing, um, if you use ruins, clutter and proof, I don't know if, um, it fixes it at all, but I guess mine is fixed, but she says that the enchanting table has kind of like some sort of conflict with ruins, clutter improved and, um, turns it blue. So yeah. So yeah, so if you want to have followers, uh, there's really nothing up there besides like a couple bookshelves and a couple chairs. So really not really that interesting. Um, actually, yeah, see even, uh, yeah, so obviously a couple mannequins, a couple bookshelves or the bookworms of Skyrim, ivy all around the place. I like the decorations. Very awesome. I like the, and the one thing to note about Eleonora's mods is her attention to detail. Um, now, if you don't know El who Eleonora is, I should have said this at the beginning of the video, Eleonora is pretty much one of the best house, or in my opinion, the best house modder out there, uh, or at least the more well-known one, uh, or at least the uh, most notorious... I, I don't know what wording I'm trying to find here, but... Uh, if you've been living on a rock the past 11 years or just haven't heard of her, she's more known for her Skyrim houses, her Fallout mods. Uh, so she's been around. Uh, she's definitely been around in everything. Um, but yeah, hold on. Let me actually let me actually turn down the music. Um, don't know what this music is. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Um, turn down the music real quick. There we go. Yeah, because I I felt like I was talking over um, everything. So yeah, 
And the one thing that I like about Eleonora's house mods is the, her... And I did mention this in my Elysium Estate. I like clutter. Like, the one thing I adore and appreciate is clutter. Um, clutter is one of those things that it's just oddly satisfying to me. Um, whatever, whatever it is with clutter, um, I really do appreciate. I really do love about it and everything. Um, so yeah. But yeah, so obviously, um, some of these things are interactable. Um, so you could search the cupboard if you want. Search, uh, um, and everything. You have your food storage, your ingredient storage, your vegetable basket, your um, yeah, food storage, your vegetable basket, um, your cooking pot, some garlics and pheasants, dried lavender, and everything. And you have your weapon barrel for all your weapons and weapon racks. Um, and here is. Um, Oh, what's it called? Um, obviously, there's a ship up there. Some uh, meat. Um, crap, I can't think of the word. Someone let me know in the comment section. <laughs> um, mugs. There we go. Mugs. Um, place to sit your sit sit down with your companion or your spouse or whoever and. Um, so obviously this is a credit for credits for Hala. Um, if you wanted to read that, it's <clears throat> um, alchemy bench, um, alchemy bench, soul gem storage, chanters enchanting table, um, a dagger case if you wanted to read it. Um, now, most of the stuff I have in here are, is retextured, so probably didn't not look the same for you. Um, so, uh, like, your armchair, chair, um, unique armors, obviously, I think that goes you down in the basement. You magic much, do you? Can't say I blame you. I barely trust any of it myself. Okay, good for you, Lydia. Um, strong box, I think think there's nothing in here. Oh no, there's 24 gold. Okay. Um, Alright, so here is um, your little bed and everything. I don't know. This was in my last showcase as well, like like these urns just like randomly clipping and everything. Um, armor set, chest for... Ah! Um, and everything, so... Yeah. So that's pretty much the upstairs. Let's go downstairs. Or let's go into Sela. Alright, so yeah. So you have your mannequins. Um, you have the um, black books. You have the claws. You have... Um, all the various black books of Skyrim. You have Skull of Corruption, Wabajack, Mag uh, Staff of Mag. So all the staffs, or, or at least the unique ones. Um, armor mannequins, obviously. Ariel's bow, Zephyr. Which, if you want Zephyr, you would need the Do Dongar DLC, which I would hope most of us have by now. Um, unique weapons, so obviously any unique weapons would go in there, like the Champion's Cudgel, I see, uh, the Ghost Blade, I see a few, uh, a few things. I, I see, um, a Blood, Blood Skull Blade, which I, it is retextured. Um, more mannequins. Masks display, so all the Dragon Priest masks, uh, just bookshelves for the bookworms of Skyrim. Um, and obviously the Jewelry Brox, which is currently empty miscellaneous items ruby so these are all the paragons 
all the Elder Scrolls storage here, weapon rack, weapon rack, and everything else. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much all there is, I think. Uh, unless I missed something, let me know down in the comment section below. But, uh, yeah, so, um, but yeah, like, I'm not keeping any of these house mods. I kind of have already have a house mod that I want to showcase anyways. But yeah, so if you enjoyed this showcase, uh, I will be showcasing the white, the white run cottage, uh, also today. Uh, after I edit this one, this video will be up, and then the White Run Cottage will also be up and edited today. So you'll see two videos because I didn't post uh, the past few days. Um, but yeah, so uh, obviously, if you enjoyed this enjoyed this episode, leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Um, and I will see you all in the next one. See you later, guys.